All right, first things first, we might as well address the obvious. Yes, I am growing a mustache and some sort of a beard thing down here. I haven't really shaved in a while, actually. Now, this is not temporary. This is just currently an experiment to see uh, what the potential growth is. So don't give me too much hate in the comments. That being said, let's get on to the video. Hey everybody, what is going on? Brendan Miller here back with another video. Yes, I am not dead, I am still alive. I just haven't been posting a whole lot of videos in the past couple of weeks. Reason for that, I'm not in the US. I am in another country. The weather here is a lot nicer than Ohio, I'll give it that. I am currently in Greece right now doing some mission work. As a Christian, I believe that there's more important things to life than fishing. But while I'm here in Greece, I want to do some fishing. The ocean is literally a stone's throw from my apartment, so let's go fishing. But first, we need some fishing gear. All right, so I went to the store and I bought some fishing gear. I did bring some tackle from home, like some hooks and some weights and some lures, but I needed a rod and reel, and that is what I purchased at the store. A very simple setup, nothing too crazy, not super heavy duty, but I think it'll get the job done. Now, let me just say one thing. When it comes to freshwater, I am very, very comfortable fishing it. I know what species live in freshwater. I know how to approach and catch those species. It is very, very comfortable for me. But when it comes to fishing in saltwater, I am somewhat of a noob. Sure, the basic principles of fishing do apply, but there are a lot of things that I do not know, such as what species of fish are in the water, where those species like to hang out, what times of the year are good. I'm going into this totally blind and I'm gonna have to try and figure some stuff out. That being said, the first time I went out fishing, I went out on this rock pier and just cast a crankbait around and I happened to get lucky. There we go, that's what you want. Really windy out here. Nevertheless, there we go. Fish got him. All right, I got some. Alrighty, guys. First fish here in Greece. Look at the colors on that little thing. Beautiful. He hit it right by the shore as I was bringing that crankbait over some rocks right there. Uh, I'm not totally sure what this species of fish is. I'm guessing some sort of sea bass. I could be wrong. If you guys know the species of this fish, please let me know down in the comments below. Nevertheless, look at the colors on this thing. Fantastic. This thing was pretty aggressive. It hit a fairly large lure, as you can see. Uh, super cool. I'm super excited. First fish of the trip. What's so exciting is coming to a new spot you've never fished before and trying to put together a pattern. And it seems like the crankbait is going to be a good choice today. Let's get him back. See, we can't catch something else. Let's go. So as you can see right there, guys, I was able to catch a really nice little fish. I'll put the actual name of the species up here on the screen. I don't know it by heart. A couple of days after that initial fish catch, I went back out on the water, and this time I threw something a little bit different. I threw a curly tail grub and a jig head, just working it around the rocks on this rock pier. Fish, got one. Hey! All right, we caught a fish, guys. Nice. On the jig. All righty, guys, smoked another one of these little sea bass things. Um, I forget their actual name. Uh, caught that guy on a jig. I was letting the jig free fall, and he just smoked it. Beautiful fish, I love the colors on it. Super excited. See you, buddy. Woo! We caught a fish. We caught a fish. That was a pretty crazy fish catch, guys. I was bringing my jig in, and I just let it fall right by that ledge of rock right there. And I watched my line, and my line went like that, and I set the hook, and he was on. Not a very big fish, but he fought really good. Let's see if we can catch another one like that. After catching another one of those fish, I was extremely excited, so I worked my way out towards the end of the pier and threw my curly chill jig out as far as I could. Now, there was a lot of wind blowing at the time, and I was using fairly light line. It was actually quite difficult to be able to feel your bait down there on the bottom. 
There we go, fish. Better one. I go another fish. What is it? Oh, cool, different species. Alrighty guys, third fish of the trip so far. Um, this one seems a little bit different. It's It's got the same basic body shape and characteristics. The colors are slightly different on there, but nevertheless, a beautiful specimen. Uh, these things fight actually pretty good for their size, and I'm just having a blast out here catching these fish. Uh, I've never caught fish like this before, and it's super cool. There you go, another beauty. So after catching those fish with jig heads and grubs, I decided to switch up my approach a little bit. I decided to fish for some smaller fish. I've been seeing a lot of smaller fish swimming around the shore and I was very interested to see what kind of fish they were. So I got a hook, I got some snail meat and a bobber and just threw it out into the surf to see what would happen. And I started getting bites, like a lot of bites. These fish were cleaning my hook and I missed I don't know how many of them. Got him. Got some guys. Not sure what it is. Wow guys, check this fish out. It is a very cool looking fish. Never caught anything like this in my life. Not totally sure as to what species it is. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research later. It's got red eyes. Look at that, a little tiny mouth. That's why I was having so much trouble hooking these things. Beautiful colors on it. That is awesome. Ooh, scrappy little thing. Now this fish is incredible looking. It has red eyes and it is the weirdest shaped fish I have ever caught. It's got stinking teeth on that thing. That's why they were able to clean my hook so effectively. They got sharp little teeth that can nip the bait like a clippers. But sadly that was the only fish that I caught that day. All right, so so far as you've seen, I've caught a couple of species of fish here, but I feel like I am not doing something right. I've watched some locals fish down here by the port and they catch all kinds of fish. Nothing huge, mind you, but they're pulling in fish consistently. And I think my biggest issue is my hook size. So for a quick comparison, this is the smallest hook that I have been fishing with as of late. But today I went out and I bought some hooks that are even smaller and hopefully these smaller hooks will allow me to hook these smaller elusive fish. I also went out and bought some different bait. I bought some like canned shrimp or something. Uh, they look very disgusting but I'm sure these are going to work just fine. Alright guys, so I started off fishing this morning with some of that canned shrimp that I bought at the store. and. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's no interest at all. I'm not getting any bites. So what I'm gonna do is switch up to an old favorite, um, snails. So I'm gonna forge around the rocks and get some snails. And then we can use those for bait. Hopefully we'll be able to catch some. Now the sketchy, yeah. now the sketchy part is the surf is coming in quite hard and I don't wanna get wet. And the snails live right around these rocks right here. So I'm gonna try and grab some without getting soaked. Neither does the cameraman wanna get wet. No, the cameraman doesn't wanna get wet either. That's enough of that. I got some snails. Let's get to fishing. Got a little bit of snail right here and those small hooks I bought. Hooking them on. Got a bit of lead right here. Get out of here. There we go, fish. Got one. Oh, dude. I got a fish, finally. All right, guys, after much trial and error, I finally caught a fish. I've been having a ton of bites out there with the bobber. Couldn't hook anything. Switched up to just a, uh, just, you know, I switched up to just a hook and a line, and I caught this fish right here. Look at the colors on this thing. This is by far the most colorful fish I have ever caught. It's got, like, little teeth. 
It's got stinking, it's got little teeth on there. Just a beautiful, beautiful specimen. Gorgeous fish. Super aggressive too. Uh, they have been chewing my bait up. What a gorgeous, gorgeous specimen, guys. I gotta tell you guys, that is so cool. I love catching new species of fish that I've never caught before, and the colors on that fish are just gorgeous. I'm gonna get back at it and see if I can catch some more. Got another one. All right guys, caught another one of these beautiful little fish. The colors on these fish are just simply fantastic. This one is slightly bigger than the last one. Let's get it back in the water and catch some more. All right guys, I wanna break down real quick how I caught those two fish today. Um, I started off throwing a bobber this morning and I was getting a ton of bites with the bobber. The bobber was just going under. I could not hook anything, so I switched up, uh, you know, to a, a little piece of lead and a tiny hook and some snail meat and I just dropped my line just over the tip of these rocks right here and actually it's quite deep right off these rocks it's probably about two or three feet deep and there's kind of an undercut under the rocks where I think a lot of these fish are holding up. I would just work my bait right around these rocks and that seemed to do the trick. I was getting a lot of bites. Granted I probably missed I don't know how many fish today. These fish are masters at cleaning the hook, and even with this tiny little hook on, I still had a hard time getting them in the mouth. So I think they do have fairly small mouths. Nevertheless, I was able to catch two of them, and it was super awesome. Got him. Got another one. Got another one of these fish, guys. Again, like I said, the colors are just gorgeous on it. Beautiful, beautiful little guy. I tell you what, I've had a blast so far getting out and exploring and catching new species. It has been amazing. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned, I got more videos coming as always. Like I said, I'm out of the country right now so the schedule might be a little bit erratic, but once I get back into the US, I got some great stuff planned and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay hooked. We'll see you later.